Good morning viewers welcome to this law lecture series today's topic is tender of pardon to accomplice sections 306 307 308 and 316 CRPC very soon you will have the hindi version of this lecture also let us begin now here is the synopsis what is the purpose of granting pardon tendering pardon to the accomplice why why he should be tendered pardon the only purpose is to obtain evidence to obtain evidence an accomplice is tendered pardon conditionally he may accept this tender he may not accept the tender court is tendering him pardon conditionally accept or don't accept it is your choice the purpose is to obtain evidence now what shall be the condition subject to what condition pardon is tendered to an accomplice condition is very simple see disclose full and true knowledge accomplice you have to disclose full and true knowledge about the offense no influence no influence whatsoever no inducement whatsoever is to be made to take out disclosure to induce disclosure or to withhold any knowledge which he possesses let him let him decide freely offer has been made you will be given pardon condition is that you will disclose completely and truly now he may accept or not accept but no inducement should be offered to him to make a disclosure or to withhold something within his knowledge let him be a free agent section 316 crpc is very important 316 crpc is very important it says no inducement no external influence should be offered it is for the accomplice to decide whether he accepts the tender or he does not accept the tender external influence should not be used no inducement suppose he says i accept the tender he says i accept the tender then it's all right what consequences will follow the acceptance of tender by the accomplice see here he is very happy and he accepts the tender now what consequences will follow acceptance of tender tender means tender of pardon first now he will not be called an accused person once he accepts the tender of pardon he will no longer be called as an accused person then 
he is to be called approver new name has been given to him now he is not an accused person never say he is an accused person say he is approver approver means a witness whose witness prosecution witness tender has been offered tender of pardon has been offered and he accepts it now he is no longer an accused person but approver that means prosecution witness as a witness now he will be examined as a witness he is to be examined now who is accomplice because this tender of pardon has been made to an accomplice so who is an accomplice look here the term accomplice has not been statutorily defined there is no definition of the term accomplice but accomplice means participes criminis participes criminis this is a latin word that means participant in the crime same crime with common intention suppose one offense i am committing and you are also with me we have a common intention and we committed an offense with common intention so one who participates in an offense with common intention is a co accused person to be called accomplice accomplice is a person who participates in an offense with common intention he is an associate in crime usko associate in crime he is also called as an associate in crime or participes criminis participant with the same intention in the same offense common intention is the characteristic feature co accused is a generic term it's a genus and accomplice is a species thereof so all accomplice all accomplices are co accused persons but all co accused persons are not necessarily an accomplice accomplice is one who participates in the crime with common intention and if there is no common intention they are only co accused persons now section 306 class 2 it says in what offenses in regard to which offenses pardon tender of pardon may be made so see here first offense offenses which are exclusively tribal by court of session second offenses which are tribal by a special judge under the criminal law amendment act 1952 and third offenses punishable with imprisonment up to 7 years or more severely so only in these offenses tender of pardon under section 306 can be made tender of pardon can be made under section 306 as well as under section 307 but only with regard to these offenses offenses exclusively tribal by court of session offenses tribal by special judge under the criminal law amendment act 1952 and offenses punishable with imprisonment up to 7 years or more severely now see who may tender pardon who may tender pardon cjm or cmm the chief judicial magistrate and chief metropolitan magistrate may tender pardon to an accomplice during investigation yes during inquiry again yes and during trial yes during investigation during inquiry and during trial chief judicial magistrate 
or chief metropolitan magistrate may tender pardon to an accomplice. Now second, judicial magistrate first class, he may also tender pardon, but not during investigation. Note it. This place is blank, not during investigation, only during inquiry or trial. Judicial magistrate first class may also tender pardon to an accomplice. And thirdly, the court to which the case has been committed, the court to which case has been committed, it may also grant pardon. It may also tender pardon. The question is, which courts can grant pardon? Which, can, which courts can tender pardon? Three, CJM, CMM, investigation, inquiry, trial, all the three stages. Judicial magistrate, first class, not during investigation, only during inquiry or trial. And then last, the court to which the case has been committed. It may also grant, it may also tender pardon to an accomplice. It is conditional. It is conditional. Tender of pardon is conditional. And suppose he does not observe the conditions, he does not fulfill the condition. Then public prosecutor has certified, public prosecutor has certified that accomplice, accomplice is making willful concealment. He is giving false evidence or he is not complying with the conditions. This has been certified by public prosecutor. Now, court will say, all right, it was a conditional pardon. Tender of pardon was conditional. And the condition was that you will make disclosure full and true. And you have not made. You are concealing. You are giving false evidence. You are not complying with the conditions. So, this tender is withdrawn. It is withdrawn. And now trial will begin. Now trial will begin. The offence for which pardon was offered, granted, for that offence trial will start. Trial may start with any, for any other offence also. Trial may also start for giving false evidence. But if the accomplice is being tried for giving false evidence, High Court's permission will be required. See here, prosecution for giving false evidence shall require High Court's permission. That's all for today. Thank you.